Join me as we clean our onions and prepare them for storage. What's up guys? Welcome back to Horticulture Geek. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the channel. I'm Ray and today we're on the back porch and we are processing all of the onions that we harvested in a previous video. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, please go check it out um, and it will show you how I planted my onions and what I did to harvest them. It's a super simple process. And in that video, I laid out all of my onions here on the back porch to let them cure and dry down. And so now I'm left with onions that the stems are all dried out, the roots are all dried out, and they're ready to go into storage. So we need a nice sharp pair of pruners or scissors, if you have that. I have a very soft brush, nothing stiff and bristly. We're just going to lightly clean the dirt that's loose off of our onions. We don't want anything hard or bristly that will rip into the protective papery coating of our onions. That's very important. So nice soft bristle. And then I just have a basket here to put them in once they're processed. So once our onions have set here and dried down, and I mentioned this in the previous video, um, I left these here for about two weeks. They are in a covered porch protected area. They could not get wet from the rain, but they were laid out in a single layer here. Let me move the camera down just a little bit. Whoops. They were on a single layer here on my potting bench, um, drying out. So now I'm left with this. It's super simple. Can't get any easier than this. I'm literally just gonna come in and cut that stem off. And then I'm gonna come in and clean up any dangly roots, just a little haircut. That's all. So if you'll look in there, I did not dig into the root of the onion. I didn't gouge it out. I didn't create a wound in the onion. I simply gave those hair roots a haircut. And then right here, you can see I just trimmed the end off of the green, the stem. Just trimmed that off. So now that I have that, I'm gonna take my soft bristled brush and just give it a very light brush down to remove any dirt clumps or anything that's on there. But what I'm not doing is I'm not removing my papery protective skin. You see that? It's still there. That skin, that papery skin is what protects my onions. So now I've got an onion. It looks just like what you would buy in the supermarket, but I grew it here in the garden. It's fresh, it's sweet, and now it's ready to go into long-term storage and I can cook and eat these at will. Super easy process. So now I'm just gonna kind of set the camera up and work through some of these onions. Here we go. Okay, I wanted to pause here and show you guys something. So as you are working through your onions, this is the time for you to make sure that none of your onions are damaged or rotting. And this one right here looks pretty good from the outside. As it was sitting on my dry down table here, I would have not known there was a problem. But picking it up, I have found a soft spot and there's definitely some mush in there. And then there's another soft spot right there, okay? So what that means is, is that I've probably, now this half of this onion is good. It's nice and firm, but something happened on this side. It may have gotten dropped. I think I did drop a couple of these as a matter of fact, maybe this is one of those. Um, or it just could have had something get into it in the garden, I don't know. This is not a candidate for long-term storage. So if you come across an onion that has soft spots or the papery skin has been completely removed, um, it, those onions are not gonna be good for long-term storage. They're still good for fresh eating as long as they're not rotten, right? 
so I could go into my kitchen and cut this onion right down there and have this whole half immediately available in the fridge for immediate cooking this week, discard the bad part. Um, sometimes you will come across, and I did have one last week that absolutely started to rot, and you can smell it. An onion, a rotten onion smells very pungent. Um, I immediately knew there was one in the stack that had gone bad and started to rot. I, I found him very quickly, fished him out, threw him completely away. Um, so you will have that. It, you know, this is not a foolproof process, and sometimes our crops just don't, certain plants of that crop just don't make it. That's okay. Um, so, but that is something to be mindful of as you are preparing your onion crop to go into storage. If you find any that have lost their papery coating or you find damages, or maybe you inadvertently gouge that onion trying to prune it, you slip your pruners or your knife and you cut into that onion, that's no longer a candidate for long-term storage but depending on the quality that's remaining in that onion, you can still use it for immediate cooking um, within that week or so time frame, week, week to two weeks, you know, however long an onion will keep in your refrigerator or whatever you do with them. So there you go. I'm gonna get back to pruning onions now. All right, now here's my next thing I want to point out. Sometimes a week to two weeks in your dry down is maybe not long enough for certain onions. So I've got these two right here that clearly still have a lot of green in them. So I'm gonna continue to let these two right here hang out on the bench and continue to dry down so that these onions can continue to draw as much out of these leaves as possible. These are about there, but there's still definitely some life in these greens that these two can pull into that, that, into that onion. All right. I'm gonna continue working through this bunch. I think you've seen enough of that already. Um, and then it's time to harvest the rest of our red onions that weren't ready the other day when we harvested these onions. So let me finish rolling through these and then we'll harvest our red onions. We'll be right back in just a second for you. Here we go. Okay, here is my red onion harvest and the few whites and yellows that I just showed you that weren't quite ready. So these are all laid out on a flat, um, even surface. They're not double stacked, just like before. And these can start the dry down process. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I tried not to make it too terribly long um, and that it has inspired you to maybe grow onions. So now you have seen from my channel when I planted my onions, when I harvested my onions, when I dried down and cured my onions, and now in this video you've seen how I prepare them for storage. And then like I said, I just put mine in the vegetable crisper drawer 
in my refrigerator. Um, if you don't have room to do that, you're just looking for a cool, dry place for long-term storage. Keep in mind to make sure that you look through your onions, anything that's cut or damaged, um, you wanna use those first. Anything that shows any signs of mushiness or rot, get those out of the bunch so that your others can stay nice and healthy for their long-term storage. So growing onions truly is so simple. I love doing it and they're so good. Um, if you're an onion eater, you like cooking with onions, um, fresh onions out of your own garden just taste differently than the onions you get in the store. So I highly, highly recommend it. Anyone can do this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's gonna wrap it up for this one today. Um, if you're not a member of our channel yet, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I would love to have you here. Join us on the Horticulture Geek channel. Join along in our gardening journey. Hit that like and subscribe button. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.